In this lesson for Define 2.0, we'll take a close look at noise reduction selectively utilizing a new tool within Define called Control Points. Control Points were derived from UPoint Technology, a new technology by Nick Software, which has been developed and designed in such a way as to allow photographers to work very, very intuitively with their images. We'll start by opening the image that we want to work on within Photoshop and go to the Filter drop down menu will come down to Define 2.0 and launch Define 2.0, which will open to a, the new user interface. First step that we'll take is to measure the noise. Now, in this image, um, it's a pretty neutral tone image and would be ideally suited for an automatic noise measuring. So, we'll just automatically measure the noise, and as you can see, the software has applied these rectangles in numerous places around the image, again looking for smooth, non-textured, smooth tonality areas where we would most often see noise appear. So now that we've got the image profiled and measured, now we can go to the method of reducing the noise. So we'll click on reduce and under the reduce menu we have three choices. We can measure, we can reduce noise over the entire image, by color ranges or by control points. In this lesson we'll try the control points. Now what happens is once we click on control points we have now activated this control point button which gives me the ability to place a control point in a photograph. So for example I'll place this control point right here on the sand. I'll click and what happens is I've now I now can work directly on my image. It's very intuitive. Now the top button uh, controls the size of the area which will be reducing the noise. Now it's not a circular shape as much as it looks like it with this circle design but basically it's a selective or an adaptive area, an adaptive shape within that area based on the tonality of the pixels that the control point was placed on. So I can turn this RGB into a chrominance or luminance color or contrast noise mask and get a much better view of what's going on on the picture. So as I come down to the control point you can see the area that's being affected and the area that's not being affected. The area that's turning lighter and whiter is the area that's being affected and the dark area is not being affected. So in this case we can just you can see as we turn up the contrast noise I'm not seeing the great difference but if we turn up the color noise I can see as it getting wider and wider. That's more and more noise that's being reduced. So if you'll notice by looking in the loop area, as I move my cursor down in the sand, you can see before and after at 100%. So you can see the area that noise has been reduced. It's really a terrific, helpful tool. We'll place another control point in the sand area behind our subject. And again, we'll check that size. We'll make sure that we, we know that we need to increase our color noise reduction, the amount that we're going to reduce. And uh, so this is working pretty well so far. I do recall, if you'll notice in the in the loop, you can see how noisy the skin tone is. Um, we're viewing this at 100%, so we are going to see the, the real situation that we've got to deal with. In this case, I would suggest that we put another control point on the skin, and we'll make it a pretty small area but it's an area that we do need to control uh, and to reduce noise further. So I'll just drop that size down here. Um, again, we'll just go to our sliders and you can see it turning white so so that as I put my cursor over it, you can see the before and after in the window. So it does make quite a difference. We'll bring up the contrast noise as well. Maybe a little more color noise. Yeah, so we can now then we can start to see the before and after in the window. Also, notice the noise in the shirt. As I just move my cursor around, look within the loop and you can see the noise that's in this blue shirt. Uh, this low light level situation, high ISO. It was an ISO 800 image. Um, so, we're going to place a control point in the shirt and we'll place it right here and we're just going to take a look at the size. We're going to take a look at all this area right in here and see what we can reduce by bringing up the increasing the color noise reduction so that as you can see now in the loop a tremendous difference between before and after. 
so you can look left and right and see the the difference and again you can move this around and you can see the effect that it has over the entire area that it's covering and you can see how it's just affecting the blue shirt area right there looks to be pretty good to me we'll also let's go back to the RGB mode for viewing and I think we want to check this noise right in this area seems to be a little bit noisy in that shirt so I'm gonna place another, one more color control point one more control point right in the shirt and I'll bring that size down and I'm just gonna increase that noise reduction in that area as well we'll take a look right in there oh yeah big difference now you can see look in the window you can see the before and after so it's a great tool great help uh, very very um, easy to apply and again having this diff the different modes helps tell us exactly what we're doing so when we go down to the color noise mask or if we go to the contrast noise mask we can see exactly what we're doing we know exactly how much noise is being reduced and this is kind of an advanced technique not everyone will want to selectively reduce noise uh, there's also a very simple method of automatically reducing noise and we'll show that in another lesson so hope you enjoy this should move along smoothly for you and we'll click OK and we're done with the picture